Welcome to the Vuzik Podcast, video number 16, this is part 2. Continuing with talking about Vuzik VM, I'm going to load again my Vuzik Station VST. And this time, I'm going to use the key switching option to show you what you can do about it. So I have my key switching for this instance. I'm going to load the sound here. And I'm going to use this learn switch to switch at key 24. So if I'm pressing my notes above 36 and below 36 is going to be my key switching area. So if I hit the key 25, no notes are being played now, even if I play my keyboard. But if I play key 20, 24, the notes go back on playing. But then I'm going to do something else. I'm going to load another instance of Vuzix VM. And again, I'm going to load Vuzix Station inside it. So now I have Vuzix Station. I'm going to load another preset. So the two sounds are playing at the once now. So I'm going to use another option here for the key switching and this time I'm going to learn the switch on the key 25 so now if I play the key 24 I have the first sound if I play the key 25 I have the other sound and I can continue playing and just switch from one sound to the other So it's pretty simple to use this. Again, I'm using Orion as my host here to add two instances of music station. And this is pretty much it for, for this part of this video. So I'm going to take a quick look now at working with music VM. Let me unload here. And I'm going to go for another option. I can also work with XP files. For Vuzik Station, you have to, to extract those FXP files. But for other hosts, it's pretty easy to use because you can then use the browser here and navigate from all your favorite synths direct files. And when you select a file, it's going to load the VST that is related to this FXP file. So it's pretty easy to browse presets this way. Soon we're going to release another tool, a better Vuzik VM, which will, will be easier to use. If you want to download Vuzik VM, which is a free tool, you can go to our site and just click on Products Vuzik VM or enter this URL here and you can download freely Vuzik VM you just can save it and work with the file after you run, you run the HAR file or in this case it's a zip file you can take a look, they will have the Vuzik VM DLL which is the VST file it's a VSTi actually and you can also take a look at the MIDI VSTs here if you host host supports MIDI VSTs, you can just copy this, those files to your, your host VST files and you can use directly without Vuzik VM. Otherwise, you have to use Vuzik VM to host the MIDI VST files. So that's pretty much it for this tutorial. Thanks for watching.